and, and get the result that you guys did today? Yeah, I mean, just give all the credit to the kids. I mean, they played hard. Played from the first whistle to the last whistle. Sometimes in between whistles, which was bad for us. But, uh, you know, we knew coming in it was going to be a physical game. We knew we had to play for four quarters. And, you know, the kids came out and executed pretty much. The defensive staff looked at me like I was crazy on Monday. And I said, boys, we're going to play a lot of cover one and cover zero. His first comment was, well, we can tell you don't coach the secondary anymore. So, uh, <laughs> you know, just watching him, I thought we could get to him. I didn't think it would be as effective as we were. But I thought we'd get the ball in quick. And, uh, and, you know, kids stepped up with a great job. You couldn't have scripted a worse start to this game. Turnover in your own end, they get the ball inside the 10, first play touchdown. I mean, at that point, are you saying, what the heck's going on? And what's it say about the guys that no one no one panicked at that point? Yeah, we knew that. I mean, we knew that. You know, Baylor's going to score points and move the football and everybody's going to play. And the rest of you have to do what we do today. I mean, I haven't been a part of a, a defensive effort like that in 20 years of coaching. I just thought the kids, they were locked in all day. Yeah, you know, just stepped up. And then we lose our two starting corners, I think, in the first quarter. And, uh, can't say it, Kevin White! Those two stepped in. Great job. Kind of screwed up our nickel. This is our last one. But the uh, guys, you know, guys just kept stepping up. Right. 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 Can you say a little more about about Rumpf and Icky and, and what those guys were able to do? Obviously, they weren't figuring on being as, as integral in this game plan as they turned out to be. No, and, and you know, for them to go in and just play, I mean, they were playing nickel, they were playing his base. They got a lot of snaps. I don't know how many total they got, but... You know, they, they just went in and locked them down and pressing these wideouts up and, and giving them time for the rush to get there. So, but the, those two played unbelievable. I don't even have to watch the film to tell you that three defensive players in the game are Hickey, Ricky, and Shaq. Ricky. <laughs> But you had a re really good running game coming in, and uh, I think you held them to like 26 yards rushing in the first half. I don't know what the final was. 95 total. Uh, <laughs> so that was that's the first thing I look at now. I coach linebackers, so, but but no, it uh, that was that was the key for us is to stop that run, and make them one dimensional. And you know what? I give them credit. They kept going back to it. Even in the last series, they're down 14. They got me on the one long run that they had. You know, if we wipe that run out, they're, they're under probably 80 yards rushing for the game. And uh, But but the kids, you know, again, they, the linebackers played well. Again, Kwiatkowski, Tonk, uh, Shaq Petaway, Maldrow, those guys just kept knocking the run down, and that's what we needed to get them. And I think we had 10 TFLs, too, in the game. So a lot of that was just on the run game. A couple of times you guys had your backs against the wall, able to either get a turnover on downs in a couple spots uh, or force the field goals. I mean, is, is that a win in a game like this, forcing those oh, field yeah, goals? No doubt. But, you know, if you, anytime, we'll take three over seven any day. So, uh, you know, and, and again, we turned it over. I don't even know how we turned it over. I don't know if it was uh, Worley's fumble on the punt or Clint's uh, fumble. One of those, we came out down with a field goal there. So, yeah, it was good. Was it the Not a lot of, of big plays from him today. Did, did you feel like that was possible with the defense you were playing, or did you think they might hit a, hit a few more big ones? Than what they did? Well, I knew they'd try. I was hoping they wouldn't hit a few more big ones. Uh, so, you know, we did, we just cut Early in, you know, in the week, again, we just talked about, you know, don't give up the one play drive and the big shot. And, you know, two of their touchdowns came on big shots, you know, at least set it up. And uh, they caught us. They caught us in a zero blitz both times they hit them with us, but also we – we were effective probably 15 other times when they overthrew it or they dropped it or whatever it may have been. Right. Was that just kind of something you were, you were willing to give up with, with the benefits of, of doing that? Yeah, I mean, we wanted to attack him and get pressure. And, you know, we had him thinking. Mm -hmm. you know, so, uh, and he's a great football player and just had an off day. So. Coach, how uh, how proud are you of Shaq today and what he was able to do? Yeah, Shaq, Shaq really, I mean, played his tail off. Three sacks. You know, and he hurt him. He hurt him on the second one. He came clean, and uh, you know, but this, you know, he keeps playing hard. And each week, you can see him getting better and better and better. And today, I was uh, breaking out. Game. You know, he's uh, he's playing really well right now, and I'm glad we got him. Uh, Is that what works so well against an up-tempo team like this? Getting to the quarterback, the source of it all. Oh yeah, that and keeping him behind the sticks on first down. I think we play great first down defense. Obviously, there's no staff for that, but we had him in second twelve. 
second and 11, second and 10 a bunch today. And when you do their breakdowns, you watch them, nobody's been able to do that to them. And that's where we kept them off balance. And, and then, you know, our offense executed and, you know, got us a lead. And when we got the 14 point lead, I mean, our kids kept in the whole other year. So uh, it was good to see. What's improved about the run defense? <clears throat> well, we, we actually fit in the right gap this week. <laughs> you know, if you take out uh, the 70 yard run last week, I mean, we, you know, we're, we're hitting at about 100 yards <coughs> rushing, given yeah. anyway, but, you know, we, we just gave up too many big runs you know, in the prior weeks. But today we, we fit the run. The kids played hard. You know, we were, we were jumping in and out of different fronts, different blitzes, doing a lot of different things, and I think it had their O line confused a little bit. Tony, I know you yeah, I haven't ate much in the last 48 hours, haven't slept much in the last 48 hours. I did not want them to come in here, and all I heard about all week from some of you guys, from some of the TV people, from listening to the TV, which I try to block it all out. Well, that's going to be a track meet. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for this? And, you know, I took a personal. I challenged our defense, our coaches took it personally, and you know, that all falls back on the kid. We can't go out there and play. You know, and, and we, you know, we had them in some bad situations today. A couple calls I made were horrible, and our kids responded and made a play. Uh, you know, and I left those corners out on the islands. Coach Mitchell did a great job of getting those guys ready all week long, and you know, so. You know, again, you, you lose your two best corners and still go in and call them zero and one. I was scared. I'm not going to lie to you. But, but, you know, the kids were executed.